Hello my friends, it's Liz here. So today I have a few things to share with you. Um, I've got a design project for my porch prints and within that I have um, design items from a tattered dream that I have used in the project. I'm also going to show you how to make a little something fun today at the closer to the end of the video and um, anyways let's get started so I hope you enjoy this share as always if you enjoy crafting channels junk journal ideas etc etc don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell on the right side and um, I hope you enjoy and get inspired I am doing one of my no edit videos so let's hope this goes well um, I've just had some oh my gosh it's just I've been there's so much that I need to share with you but the time is just not working out so well so anyways getting started with this little flip book so another snail mail idea something you can send to a friend or a pen pal loaded with ephemera if you wanted to um, I will link in the description box below also the kits that I have used from my porch prints um, Stephanie has amazing digitals as you know um, I also have a playlist of items that I have made using some of her digital, so I will link those below as well. Um, and as I mentioned, I've used um, ephemera pieces from A Tattered Dream, including the doilies and um, some other pieces that I'll show you inside. So, oh, and this little thing here, this like, little rose with some, um, like, they look like little pearls. I've used that from um, Denise's shop as well. So the reason I love this, let me just show you what it's going to look like. There's lots of parts you're going to see. Um, and let's flip it open to begin with. So the first um, thing that I did here is I made a few pockets. Again, you know, places to hold ephemera or um, just, you know, things you might want to send to um, a pen pal or in snail mail. Um, this is Sari Silk. I recently got some of this and it's different than one that I've had before. So I'm not sure um, why, but it, the texture is different. I still love it. It's just a little different. These are all little um, elements from my porch prints. So everything that you see here that is like paper related is from um, my porch prints. This little tag here with the little lace is from uh, a tattered dream. And I just I really love how that turned out. This here, also the lace with the tiny little flower is also from a tattered dream. And I just, I think it's just such a cute little element to add to a page. And I like how the lace made the little uh, tuck spot there. So flipping here, again, just, you know, extra places to put ephemera. A little tuck spot there. And this is from A Tattered Dream. I really love um, how this came together. Um, and I'll show you a little bit more what I've done different from before. So here I added like a little notebook. As you can see here, it's like a tutorial that I have on an easy junk journal. I will link, link that below if you haven't seen it. Um, you can add and remove pages as much as you want. And I think it's just, you know, a really great idea if you wanted to send like vintage papers or papers to a friend, you can just, you know, stick them in with an elastic and they can remove them and add as much as they want. So I think this project is so perfect for that because um, everything is removable really, except for the base. <laughs> uh, so here I did use one of the inventory tags from Denise's shop and I kind of cut it up and you'll see how I've used it in the little flip book. Um, a tag again from um, as I said, all the digitals are my, my porch prints. This is from a tattered dream. And I love these tags. I love the color and I love that they have lines on them already. Here I made a little tuck spot. It's a lot deeper because it goes as far as the pocket, but I just added a small little envelope to that. And then you flip it again. And here you have another little um, you know, little pocket with more ephemera pieces. Now think about making something like this for like, um, you know, the fall season or like the holidays when it'd be so nice to have something. Here's the other little part of it. It continues. It's like this never ending little flip book. So here I have another little tuck spot. Again, you could just add so many more elements to this. But I love she how she designed these. Um, they're supposed to be for like the... Um, the spine 
of one of the projects, but I kind of used it as a little tuck spot. You flip it again, there's more flipping. And then here I've just added one of the little pockets. I made a tag with um, one of the printables and I've been printing so much recently, my friends, because, oh my gosh, she's just got such beautiful digitals, right? Again, this is a lace from a tattered dream. And then let's put that back in there. I'll show you a different way also that I've made this one different from another one I shared with you before. So this one's those pockets that you have lots of different places to tuck things in. Again, more gorgeous ephemera. And then this is the um, card from a tattered dream. I mentioned I kind of took the top of it off, the inventory tag. And then I stitched some of this beautiful fabric that Denise has in the shop. Oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm in love with this fabric. So anyways, I just stitched it onto that. And this is one of those um, flip out pockets that you can just journal all over the place if you wanted to, or, you know, have secret stuff in there. So I just kind of attached it this way. So, so that, you know, you see some sort of um, nice pattern from it. And then of course you've got all your little tuck spots in there. And as I said before, you can add so much more to that. And that's it, my friends. So you can see how fun this looks and you can add so much to it. I have the video that I've shown you how to make this um, before. It was not my original idea. It was um, Lyric. Oh my gosh. I, I will link her channel below. I, I thought I wrote down her name, but I don't remember where I put it. So. The difference between this one and the one I shared with you is for this particular one, I added the little kind of journal that's removable. I didn't do that with my original design, um, but I will link that if you want to see how to put this together. But truly, um, this is the other one that I had made um, and it's um, six by it's a 12 by 12 paper, you know, that you cut into. Uh, in half and then you do your folds a different way to attach it so for this particular one I attached it just with tape just to show you that there's a different way of um, attaching the two pieces together to make this booklet but I have something else that I'm going to share with you now that we will be making in this project so I hope you enjoy seeing this one they're so fun to make and you can just load them up with so many things if you want to see me make a different um, theme let me know uh, in the comments below and I'll try and and you know do the whole process for that as well so these little five pocket pockets I was so excited I saw this on um, Gail Agostinelli's channel and she saw it from someone else but I thought it was such a, a great idea because it's using book pages as you can see here and the reason I love this so much let me just show you here just um where's my page so I love it so much because you can attach this to your journal and it depends on where you glue it, right? You can glue them like so top bottom. So you would have a pocket coming out this way. Or if you wanted to, you could, you know, glue the, the sides and then you've got an additional pocket coming up from the top. So I think it's such a great idea because, um, and this is another, uh, this is my own personal journal that I made a little while back. If you want to see the flip through that, I'll link it below. Um, so I love this idea because you've got so much pockets in this, um, you know, five pocket pocket. <laughs> I think that's what she called it. So you have a pocket here, a pocket here, there. Now this one I made a little bit shorter than this one and I'll show you what I mean by that. It goes up to here. And then you've got your nice long large pocket on the inside Let's just see here if I could tuck that back in so you see just how much stuff you can add to these um, uh, you know kind of I guess they're floating pockets because um, if you wanted to you could always attach like coffee stained paper to the back and then you could journal on that um, and this one the only thing I did different and again, I just, um, I made it a little different here is the bot. So the back pocket here, this last one there is really deep. It goes all the way down. Whereas this one was only kind of the size of this page here. 
So let's, uh, let's put one together because I think it's so easy and so fun. If you haven't seen her video, um, I will link it below, but I thought, you know, I have the pages. I could just show you how to quickly make one. So you'll need, I, for my, for the one I'm making, I'm just going to use two book pages. Okay. Let me just move these aside and get my little messy sheet here. I hope you are all doing well, my friends. I can't believe it's October. Oh my goodness, this year. Okay, so whatever book size, book page you have, whatever size, all you have to do is make sure that your, you know, your edges are all even. You fold that in half, okay? And um, she was kind of putting the little uh, punch on it. So I'm going to flip it this way or else you'll see my hand and this may not work out perfectly, but no big dealio. So I'm going to try and just cut out an even little piece there. Of course that didn't work out, but that's fine. So you have your pocket that you have folded in half. Then you take your next pocket and now again, she did it a little different, but what I like to do with this one, and let me see if I have another one here. Yes, I do. Um, I like to kind of do a half page. So you would measure from your front to the side there and I'm just folding it over to make that, that extra pocket there. So you see how I just folded that page over. So now you have a, a pocket there. And what I'm going to do next, because this was like an impromptu, let me show you how to make this as well, because, you know, sometimes I can refer you to, um, to someone's, um, a channel, but if I don't remember where the video was, you'll kind of be looking around and anyway, so, so you saw me, how I folded that over. I cut it to fit this size um, of my page. And then the next thing you're going to do is if you want to cut the, the notch out there as well, I'm just going to just kind of point to myself where I did the first one. So it kind of matches. And so again, we would take our little, of course, now I can't see. And oh goodness. So I've got my little lines there between my notches and then I'm just going to make a small one. I don't need this one to be so deep because it's just going to be on top there. So now you can see how that's, you know, how that's turning out. The next thing you want to grab and for this particular pur purpose, I'm just going to use this piece because I happen to have it on hand. So you kind of measure your your pieces that are going to go in the background as you see here okay so we need a piece that's going to go behind the pocket and it doesn't have to be that um that long because all you're doing is wherever you're placing your pocket so this would be the bottom of my page i want the piece of um background to just go just below my notch as you can see that there so i'm going to just trim it below there and normally I kind of pre-cut all my pieces for you to see so that you don't have to watch the whole process but for today because I'm just winging it so I've cut the piece that will go here and the reason that's going there is because this is where my pocket is going to go so you can see that there okay so we'll, we're going to glue that um, on before I forget and then I'll be, um, oh, so if this is the part where only glue the sides so that your pocket goes all the way through to the bottom of your, of your um, page here. So let me just show you again. I'm just lining it up underneath my first little notch that we made. And I'm covering up sort of the words. I don't want you to see the text there because I don't know what it says. So see how that's there. I might cut that off a little bit before I finish it off. Okay. So we can close this pocket because this one is basically done. I hope this makes sense, my friends. Okay. So that's a, that pocket is now closed. So I'm going to now glue this pocket on top 
And again, I'm just making sure that for this one, I get my three sides because I do not want the um, anything to go through when we add it onto the page. Okay, so you can start to see there's a pocket here, a pocket there, the big pocket. And now for this part here, again, I'm just going to line it up and just make sure that I have an additional kind of place to tuck a little things, a little something in, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. Again, I'm just cutting. I happen to have my little trimmer set up here. Okay, so see how I cut it so that it's a little bit lower than this part of the pocket because that's how we make like the the next little one that's going there and again I'm just eyeballing this because I wasn't prepared and again I just want a little one for this part okay so see that there so again I'm going to glue this on three sides Oh my goodness. I've been, um, I'm trying to, to get a few more videos up, but it seems like I'm getting less videos up instead of more. And there's just so much I need to film, but my kids are at home. They're studying at home. So that just makes it a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more difficult to be able to get things done to share. So now with a page that we kind of flipped over here I'm just going to glue it and for this one I'm just gluing the bottom and the side okay, here we go and that's done there okay so let me show you where the pockets are. Pocket here, the one we just we glued on. Second, third pocket, and then the fourth pocket, which is this top one that goes all the way to the back, and then the additional fifth pocket. So let me just grab my big tag from here to show you again. So we've got tuck spot, or pocket, 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 another pocket, and then giant pocket. Isn't that cool For, with two, you know, pieces of book pages and we all have so many book pages. So I thought this was such a clever idea. I know that Gail said she saw it from someone else, but um, I saw it on Gail's channel. So that's why I'm mentioning Gail. Again, I love this idea. I love how they came out. They're so easy to make. And again, it's another like snail mail, you know, idea you can send to a friend, just load it up with goodies. Um, I hope you enjoyed the share. Again, I will link everything below from my porch prints and a tattered dream. As always, questions, comments, please leave them below. And let me know if you like this style of video. Um, I think it'll be easy for me to upload this one because I didn't have to edit. And um, that just makes it easier for me to share more things. I have some consignment journals coming up, which are amazing. Wait till you see them. They are just Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to see them. And I've also got some more tutorials coming up, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, see you soon. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.